and welcome to chapter 4 of the build series on how to build your own quadcopter. In this part of the build series we're going to go over how to install the KK board as well as the wiring and installing the radio receiver. So let's get started. You will need to order nylon spacers which don't come with the X525 frame kit separately. So please make sure you do that. And we're essentially just going to use them to type in our power board which we installed in the previous video series. You want to make sure they're nice and firm but not too tight so you don't damage the power board or the nylon threading. Now preferably I would have liked to have a separate plate to install my KK board as well as the storage case on top of that plate. Unfortunately I don't have one and so I will order one probably in the future but in the meantime to go ahead with the build what we'll do is use the storage case to not only hold the KK board in place but also as the mounting board, like so. So let's go ahead and do that. For this we're going to need a few zip ties. I've already pre-drilled three holes to essentially pass my zip ties through, as well as one hole to hold the radio receiver in place. You can use the slots in the frame to pass the zip tie through. And the nice thing about zip ties is that you can still use the folding mechanism that will be inhibited by using zip ties. And before typing them down, you want to make sure they're even on both sides. we're trying to build a very clean platform. Before you go ahead and tighten the zip ties in place, just make sure it's perfectly aligned with the spacers. And then you can just tighten it. Just going to check and make sure it's firmly in place, which it seems to be. And you can go ahead and snip off the excess. Once that's complete, we can go ahead and start wearing our KK board in place. A few things to note are that if you do come across cables which are brown, red, and orange, the brown stands for negative, the red obviously stands for positive, and the orange stands for your signal wire. So whenever you have to patch up your signal wire, make sure orange is your signal wire. In the case of the KK board, uh, they've already marked down which side has to face forward. There's a small arrow, so please ensure that the arrow is forward facing forward. Um, you have to have the negatives on the outside and your signal wire has to be on the inside. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, for motor uh, wiring, essentially all you're doing is starting with the front left motor and working your way around clockwise. So your front left motor is going to be your motor one. So all you have to do is look at the back of the cable board 
and it'll tell you that motor one is the first one at the top. And it's showing that your signal wire is on the inside. You can just go ahead and plug it in. You want to be very careful when plugging it in. Don't want to damage anything. Okay, so motor one is plugged in. We're plugging motor two now. And again, ensuring that your signal wire is on the inside. Go ahead and plug in motor two. Motor 3, which is the motor that's closest to you on your right hand side. And then finally, motor 4. So, as you can see, in all four instances, we have made sure that the signal wire, which is orange in this case, is on the inside of the KK board. And this essentially completes our plugging in of the motors, and we can go ahead and work on installing our radio receiver now. To install the radio receiver, you are going to need to uh, order some servo cables. I've ordered a set of 10 from Hobby King. And on the orange radio receiver, uh, the signal side is the side that's closest to the top stickers. So essentially at the top. So we'll start with the throttle cable. I've already gone ahead and plugged it into the receiver. Now we just locate the port on the KK board. It's in the third position. And again, ensure that your signal wire is on the inside of the KK board. Quickly plug it in. There are going to be quite a few wires right now, so you don't want to get tangled and confused. So take your time. So throttle is wired up. Next we'll wire aileron. So we'll go ahead and locate that. Aileron is at the top position.
just want to be very careful when plugging in your servo cables because you could damage the pins if you rush. So please just take your time. Make sure everything's plugged in properly, nice and snug. Don't want anything coming loose. Go ahead and install the air on. Next, I'd like to do elevator. So we'll take another cable. Plug it into the elevator portion of your radio receiver. Next, we'll install the rudder. Plug rudder in as well. And finally, we'll plug in our aux cable. Aux mode is used to control our flight modes. accessories which we may have. Okay, and that completes our installation of the KK boards wiring. We can go ahead and place our radio receiver on our platform now. Now we've already gone ahead and drilled a small hole into our storage case. So essentially all we have to do is pass a wire tie through so we can hold it firmly in place.
make sure it's relatively secure. It's not going anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and clip off the excess of the time. Once we have our video receiver currently installed, we can go ahead and place our KK board inside the storage case. You always want to apply pressure to the corners where the slots are installed in nylon screws and not directly on the points or the soldering points on the board itself because you could easily damage the board. Okay, just set the front of the test. And finally, all we're going to do is install the LiPo alarm, which came with the KK board. And essentially, this is just a low voltage alarm, which we'll set up when we're setting up our KK board. So we'll go ahead and plug it in for now. The KK board shows you which side has to be positive and which side has to be negative. All you can do is just follow. Okay, we go. To clean up the installation towards the end, what we'll do is use the top portion of the storage case to essentially cover the KK board if possible. Otherwise, we'll have to fashion some sort of lid to cover it to protect it from the elements. So this brings us to the end of chapter 4. In this part of the video series, we installed the KK board. We set up the wiring as well as doing the wiring installation for the radio receiver. In the next part of the build series, we're going to be plugging in the LiPo and setting up our KK board and then eventually taking out our frame first first maiden plug. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please comment, please like and subscribe. Thank you.